Hello my friend, today we're gonna take a look at something uh, much fancier than just regular household thingies. So this is one terabyte NVMe M2 solid state drive I've um, purchased to upgrade my computer and uh, that's gonna be a very quick unboxing because there is really nothing I can poke around but we're gonna just take a look what it looks like uh, quickly and uh, just like that we're gonna open the box it's uh, I'd like to put some of my um, when I do videos on this device and actually um, improve speed of rendering so I decided to go with one terabyte thing it's very very sparsely populated I thought it was gonna be more populated than that so we have um, crucial p1 m2 2280 1000 gigabyte unit uh, I think it has one I see one two three four chips over here one of those chips gonna be a um, microcontroller and two others those two footprints gonna be memory this one I have no idea what that's supposed to be uh, should I peel it off should it be crazy enough or I shouldn't Probably can start it on this and oh it's really, really easily to peel off I think maybe not mm-hmm I think it's micron memory. It's kind of cool that all this stuff imprinted right there on the back of the of the label. Okie dokie. So what we have here? So we probably have uh, two micron modules, which says 92. A2D and W947 and that's supposed to be RAM module micron as well I think this one is RAM and it says really hard to read geez like DXA45 D9 STQ that's all we have and then microcontroller or controller is SM as I understand is it like silicon power or anyways SM2263 ENG so I'm gonna make a, a close-up screenshot of all this so this looks all good and dandy so for your really if you want to uh, know like all uh, details that's um, that's gonna be if you, this is interesting for you so let me do a close-up of all this but this is not it I just it um, I also decided to get this card because it turned out to be my motherboard does not support M2 um, devices out of the box so I have to provide some sort of PC uh, Express extender so I got this StarTech 3 port M2 SSD device oh my god it even comes with screwdriver amazing so let's take a look so uh, Uh -huh, it's all sealed for my protection just don't see where it is where's the opening looks like it's completely sealed and um, okay well you have scissors right there you're gonna fix this rather quickly just like this Okay, so this device support one SATA PC, um, PCI Express M2 and two and two SATA M2. I would like to understand what's the difference between uh, those 
uh, because to understand there are different key uh, devices you know there is a B key M key at the universal so as I understand these gonna go through through SATA only so this particular device will not be operational here uh, but I do have another cards which will work and this device is M keyed and it will go here and this looks like to B keyed I have one B keyed device which I'm not using so this is going to be universal for all my uh, needs so this device will go in here and um, they have also smaller uh, bracket over here what else they have supplied and uh, they have supplied uh, three sets obviously for each individual um, um, device three sets of screws retaining screws when you plug in your um, uh, your SSD card you have to secure it so for example this is gonna go in here like this and gonna be secured so and um, while we add it we probably just gonna do it right here all right so this device uh, obviously will gonna be will, will provide it has three separate power one two and three to power um, uh, three of your cards so this is um, quite interesting because I thought it's not necessary you can just take power from the motherboard but looks like you won't be able to let's open one of these it's actually curious I'm curious to see the uh -huh, I see how it goes so before you do that better to unplug first you have to actually secure your retaining nut not easy to do wearing gloves And apparently it has to be hand tightened because there is no any other tools included. I'm gonna keep this um, SSD device without the label for now because it'll do some more experiments. Now you would be able to secure it with the provided screwdriver. Make sure it's snug, all right, and centered properly. It's very important, but I don't really like how willy nilly it goes, so I'm not sure. I don't have much experience with this sort of devices. Okay, so here we are. This is how it's going to look like when it's connected, and I will connect my Plexter uh, SATA SSD right there. I have one hanging around. It's a bit smaller, it's not even close to terabyte, it's like 128, but still gonna be useful. Alright, so this is pretty much it. Pretty much it. I'm gonna run some performance tests to see, because apparently this uh, Plexter P1 is actually a pretty nifty device for a really good amount of money, so it has um, good value to uh, performance uh, um, indication. So. Uh, I'm gonna run some tests and also gonna provide as part of this uh, uh, video and also in my um, on my website. Well, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Stay safe. Stay stay healthy.